when you receive a breast cancer diagnosis, it's obviously very emotional, uh, anxiety-provoking time, and the decision about what kind of surgery you're going to have is the first decision that women have to make. So they're making this, again, with very high emotion, fear of recurrence, and they want to choose the, the surgical procedure that they think gives them the lowest possibility of recurrence and, and the greatest chance of surviving their breast cancer. But what they struggle with is that when we tell them that removing their normal breast won't make them live longer, that there is no survival benefit, they still, it, there's a disconnect. They say they understand that, but yet they still choose to do it out of fear of recurrence of their breast cancer. All women with one breast cancer are inherently at risk of getting another one, but it's the level of risk that's important. So most women with, who've had one breast cancer are at actually very low risk of contralateral breast cancer. The rates are only about 0.3 to 0.5% per year, or if you think over the next 10 years, only about 3% of those women will get a breast cancer in their other breast. Now there are very few women who are at higher risk than that, and that would include women that have mutations in BRCA1 or BRCA2, or women that have very strong family histories of breast and ovarian cancer. Those women are at higher risk. There have been several surveys that have demonstrated that um, although women believe that this will give them peace of mind, allow them to worry less about breast cancer. Um, again, about 25 to 30 percent of young women who make this decision report that they still worry even after the procedure. And so when we're counseling women in the preoperative setting about this decision, it's very important to again lay all the risks and benefits out on the table and make sure that they understand uh, really what the trade-off is, that removing a normal breast is not a guarantee that you won't get breast cancer. It certainly doesn't make it any less likely that the cancer that you already have will come back or not, so it's not better treatment. And they really need to think about what the, what the benefit is, what they're losing, and what they're gaining.